Okay, here's the setup. We have two yards of mushroom dirt. And I'm gonna try to hook to that tarp with a rope in my tractor and pull it off. We'll see how it works. First attempt, just rip the grommets out. Now I've put a ball inside the tarp, and I'm going to try that. Two failed. The rope broke on this one. Alright, attempt number three. Okay, we got our mushroom compost unloaded. I wanted to talk a little bit about how we did this. It took three attempts. The third attempt was a, was a charm, but we left the trailer hooked to my truck. We scotched the tires on both sides of the trailer so that way when I pulled on it, it wouldn't try to roll with us or pull against my truck any. Now I'm gonna take you over here and show you what I put under the tarp to get a hold of it. But the first attempt, I just put a piece of rope. I had some saltwater rope, which is usually good, strong rope. I put it through all the grommets on it and it just ripped through the grommets like it was nothing, which I, I didn't think that the grommets would pull it, but I thought I would try it. The next attempt, I tied the rope around the ball that I have in there and it broke the rope in three pieces. So finally I got smart and just grabbed a chain and wrapped it around the ball and I was able to pull it off the, the trailer. But we're expanding our garden this year. We're, we're adding on to this end and we're adding on to the one side. We're adding about 20 to 25 feet on this end and about 25 feet on this side. So our soil up here is terrible. If you've watched any of our organic videos, I talk about it just about, our organic gardening videos, I talk about it just about every time because it is such terrible soil. 
So I wanted some mushroom dirt. We have a bunch of compost, our own chicken manure compost. My father-in-law brought me two hay bales that were just bad bales that he couldn't feed to his cows. He brought them last fall. So they've been sitting there all fall. So we're gonna spread all that hay on here all the way down. We've been growing cover crops in it this winter too to help improve the soil. So we're gonna spread the hay around. We're gonna spread the mushroom compost. Then we're gonna put our, new, our chicken manure compost on top of it. So that'll help, help us grow the new part of our garden this year. And by next year, hopefully I'll have a lot more chicken manure compost and pig manure compost that I can put on it to help it keep improving the soil every year. Plus we'll grow winter cover crops this next year. We'll plant a lot of daikon radishes. We'll plant a lot of clover. I'm gonna plant a, a little bit of sun hemp and part of it this year that I'm not gonna to use to help improve the soil. So we, we should be able to get something growing this year. It may not grow as good as the rest of our garden, but it should still grow good enough to grow food. So I'll grab the camera and zoom down and let me show you how I, how I did this. It was a little trick that, that we use skinning deer and I used it on this and it worked great. Okay, I'm gonna unwrap this ball so you can see what's underneath here. But you can see I have a chain wrapped around it. I just went around it two or three times. I took a piece of my rope first and went around it and tied it under this. This is a trick that we use when we skin deer. We take a golf ball and we cut a small slit in the top of the deer. We go all the way around it. We put that golf ball in there and tie it off with a rope and then we skin the deer that way. We can pull the, the skin right off of it. So I thought I would try the exact same thing with this to try to pull it off. So what I did is I had this little plastic apple that we'd got at an estate sale. Uh, they had a bunch of miniature ponies and they had these in their stalls and we bought everything in the barn. And this is what it is, just a little plastic apple. It did bend it up a little bit. That wasn't bent like that when I put it in there, but I just put it in, got the rope low enough below it, tied it off with the rope, and then wrapped the chain around it twice, hooked it to the blade on my tractor, and then just pulled it right off the trailer. So it worked great. Uh, it saves me from having to either hook the bucket up and try to scoop this off the trailer or unloading it by hand. So Christy and I didn't have to unload it by hand. We were able to just scoop it off. I'm gonna get my compost bins built here, get our fence moved, and then I'll probably go get another. Uh, this was a two yard scoop. This is two yards of mushroom dirt right here and I'll probably go get another one. That way we can cover the new part of our garden real well with mushroom dirt. So if you have any questions or comments on this, please leave them below.